Namashiva children today we will do class 6 history chapter number 10 traders kings and pilgrims now first we will start with the story that is jagani at the market jagani looked forward to the fair in the village she loved to see and touch the pots and pans of shiny steel bright plastic buckets cloth printed with brilliant floral designs and clockwork toys all of which came from the city children you also like to go to the fair and you also like to buy these toys and we everybody we like to go to the fair and we buy all of the things whatever we need the men who spread out their wares came in buses and trucks and went back at the end of the day why were they always on the move she wondered her mother explained that they were traders people who bought things where they were made and sold them elsewhere now how to find out about trade and traders children previously you come to know about the northern black polished ware now this fine pottery especially bowls and plates were found from several archaeological sites throughout the subcontinent now how do you think it reached these places traders may have carried them from the places where they were made to sell them at other places south india was famous for gold spices especially paper and precious stone paper was particularly valued in the roman empire so much so that it was known as black gold so traders carried many of these goods to rome in ships across the sea and by land in caravans there must have been quite a lot of trade as many roman gold coins have been found in south india now traders explored several sea routes some of these followed the coast there were others across the arabian sea and the bay of bengal where sailors took advantage of the monsoon winds to cross the seas more quickly so if they wanted to reach the western coast of the subcontinent from east africa or arabia they chose to sail with the southwest monsoon and sturdy ships had to be built for these long journeys now new kingdoms along the coast the southern half of the subcontinent is marketed by a long coastline and with hills plateaus and river valleys amongst the river valleys that of the kaveri is the most fertile chiefs and kings who controlled the river valleys and the coast became rich and powerful sangam poems mention the muvender this is a tamil word meaning three chiefs used for the heads of three ruling families the cholas the cheras and the pandyas who became powerful in south india around 2300 years ago each of three chiefs had two centers of power one inland and one on the coast of these six cities two were very important puhar or kaveri pattanam and the port of the cholas and madurai the capital of the pandyas the chiefs did not collect regular taxes instead they demanded and received gifts from the people 
They also went on military expeditions and collected tribute from neighboring areas. They kept some of the wealth and distributed the rest amongst their supporters, including members of their family, soldiers and poets. Many poets whose compositions are found in the Sangam collection composed poems in praise of chiefs who often rewarded them with precious stones, gold, horses, elephants, chariots and fine cloth. Around 200 years later, a dynasty known as the Satavahanas became powerful in Western India. The most important ruler of the Satvahanas was Gautam, Gautamiputra Sri Satakarni. We know about him from an inscription composed on behalf of his mother Gautami Balashri. He and other Satavahanas rulers were known as lords of the Dakshinapatha. Literally, the route leading to the south, which was also used as a name for the entire southern region. He sent his army to the eastern, western and southern coast. Today I am ending here. Next day we will come to know about the story of the Silk Route. Nama Shivaya.